It turns out that Marvel doesn't really like it when you put in hidden messages into their books. Um, this came up recently with X-Men Gold, where some anti-Semitic, uh, basically slogans, terms were, were thrown into the background of the title. But this actually goes back a ways, uh, and this, this takes us to 2001 and the infamous Al Milgram. Hey everybody, this is Perch. Um, Bob Harris is a name at Marvel, who and and certainly now at uh, DC, that a lot of people uh, there's a lot of people who dislike Bob Harris. Uh, Mark Wade gave some very uh, aggressive statements, and and many have. It's it's uh, there's there's many people who seem to have a problem with Bob Harris. Uh, he is. You know, he, he's editor in chief uh, at DC Comics, and he's got uh, for for many reasons. Now, here's where I'm stumbling a little bit because there's a lot of gossip about Bob Harris, and it's hard to kind of piece through what the truth. Uh, I've heard a lot of different stories about the guy, and some are most likely true, some are most likely not. So I don't, I don't want to go into like rumor bill of what exactly is is there, but the, suffice it to say, during his time at Marvel, he racked up a, a number of enemies and people who did not like him but a lot of people in the in the 80s and 90s you know the editor-in-chief job or or any kind of editor job for that matter um, at uh, Marvel was uh, subject to a lot of uh, frustration I would say on the part of the creators so uh, Bob Harris gets uh, fired uh, or or removed uh, whatever you might want to say um, and it during Marvel this was in Marvel was uh, near bankruptcy and so a lot of people chalked up him leaving Marvel due to the bankruptcy that that was uh, that went during his tenure uh, the financial situation got quite perilous and that led to his dismissal and so a lot of people credit the reason he was removed was for that moment in time uh, at the same time there's a lot of rumors uh, going on at the time around uh, things Bob Harris said or did that created a unpleasant work environment um, and that there was a lot of very notable clashes with parts and maybe things were not handled in the most professional way um, I, I hate to go again down the rabbit hole of of um, some of the stories that have been hold because they're they're hearsay they haven't necessarily been acted upon uh, definitely there was he was removed for a reason and I would say that reason is not because of the financial trouble there are other situations uh, that were going on um, but when he when he left and was replaced by Joe Casada there was a lot of um, I would say celebrations and this is again in the mighty Marvel tradition similar to how when Jim Shooter left you know John Byrne uh, did many victory laps over that one and uh, so one of these people is uh, Marvel inker Al Milgram uh, occasionally a penciler, but mostly an inker, and he definitely disliked uh, Bob Harris uh, to a pretty big degree. And there had been a number of, um, uh, I don't know, pretty outspoken, I would say, statements uh, on on Bob Harris. So Al Milgram, uh, who is uh, working on Earth X, uh, Spidey, he he basically in the comic very subtly um, during the background of uh, a shot. In the bookcase, he he prints up Harris. Ha ha! He's gone. Good riddance to bad rubbish. He was a nasty sob um, in the in the books, and he kind of drew that in. And and uh, whereas some people at Marvel deny it, uh, if you're eagle eyed around this time period, around uh, you know right around 2000, 2001, uh, there were a lot of um, a lot of comments. Uh, going into <laughs> into books, um, there was a lot of of little uh, Easter eggs in those titles around Bob Harris, um, but this one is is more goofy because the the error or the error the um, the issue was caught, uh, people found it, uh, but they printed it anyway for mysterious reasons. Um, it, it was it was caught and then it it it, it, it printed and then it was pulped. So it was a strange uh, moment of, uh, you know, if it was caught, why did they, why did they print it anyway? I mean, just just a lot of, of strange things. And Marvel in general has a weird track record of actually catching things. Like there's at least comments that the Adrian Saf uh, issue that I mentioned earlier in X Men Gold number one, uh, where there was the um, this uh, you know kind of basically that uh, you. Know, 
it, it, with a Quran and, and a verse that uh, that they put on Colossus's shirt, and then some um, uh, some of the billboards kind of getting involved in that controversy that uh, you know caused the issue to. It's still printed, um, and there are some comments that some people knew it was there and printed it anyway. And it's so it's it's, it's weird. Marvel has it. There's multiple moments in their past where this stuff gets out in public and then it's either pulled back and pulped or changed in the terms of X-Men gold. It was changed for trade and for digital in, uh, in terms of the Al Milgram, Bob Harris actually pulping that went on to that issue. And that caused a bit of a fluff, but that's the background. So since that point of time, Al Milgram was fired. Um, his, his freelance contract was terminated and he really has not returned, um, in any kind of, he certainly hasn't returned to, to Marvel. Um, and he doesn't, you know, he's still doing art out there. He's doing commissions, but it definitely put a, a pretty big dent uh, on his career. Now, what's curious is if you, you know, take a look at um, Marvel, you know, Al Milgram shows up, unlike other people who get kind of completely removed from their, uh, the, the, their digital uh, area in, in the comics and their database. Uh, Al Milgram's still in there and his name comes up from time to time. So it seems like the, the sin there was that he was, um, you know, he snuck something into his books. And that's the, that's the thing you don't do. And you get caught with that. It's, it's pretty much the, uh, you're, you're done at that point. Um, but it is, uh, it, it, you know, they, it seems unforgivable. A lot of other things get forgiven, uh, and that one does not. So he's, he's gone on and, and you know, done some uh, other pieces uh, through, you know, through the years. He's done some graphic novels. Um, and he, he does freelance work, but um, he, he's, his Marvel work came to an end. So that's the big way. We haven't heard any statement from Bob Harris as to if he's holding some kind of grudge there against Al Milgram, but that's kind of the background there of uh, don't sneak things into your books, kids. That gets you in trouble. But that's background between that little feud. Um, you know, Again, what exactly caused Al Milgram to, to dislike him so much, it's hard to say, but um, surely there's some stuff out there. Uh, do you remember this feud? Do you care about it? What do you think about uh, artists who sneak things into their books? Do you think it's it's, uh, it's, it's instant firing. Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, hey, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter or, or uh, Facebook at Comic Perch. And thanks for listening.